Yeah. He looked like he hadn't like there was nothing wrong with him. He, he came out to practice ready to go and uh, had a great day. So he did the whole whole practice mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. So we don't know if he's going to be clear or not, but just if he is, how big a boost is that for you guys this week? Uh, with the way he's been playing, um, that's that's great for us. He's been very consistent. Uh, when if the, if the pocket collapses, he's ready to get out there and run. And if if, if the pocket's there, he delivers a great great ball. So, are you surprised with how quickly he's been able to come back? Oh yeah, uh, based off of what happened last game, I mean, I was I was kind of like scared for him. Uh, he got hit right in the ribs, and then uh, the second time he got hit and smacked his head on the ground. I, I was kind of scared. I, I, I thought he was going to be out for a while, but to see him out, out there today just has, speaks a lot of, of his character. He's a, he's a great guy. I guess Rakeem did all right today as well. Oh, yeah. Rakeem uh, looking fresh again. Uh, I, I'm not him, so I don't know how he feels, but just based off uh, seeing him run it, or running around, he, he looked just fine. How have you continued to develop your connection with Ty over the last few games? Uh, I just try to try to uh, when it's my turn to run a route or uh, just like a, a play is designed for me. I, I try to run it just like it's a game to give them a, a good look. So, yeah. What have the last couple of weeks been like for you with the success that you've had? Uh, it's 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 been awesome, like aw- an awesome feeling. Uh, just this is my like fourth year here, and I haven't really like put my name out there and uh, been able to show what I could do. And uh, to get to be able to like start catching balls and all that, uh, and showing what I'm capable of, it's been a great, great feeling. And I'm I'm just glad I'm been able to help the team as much as I could. I feel your all round game as far as blocking and everything else is coming around as well. Uh, it my block my blocking still needs uh, work. I, I I get lazy with my hands getting them inside. Sometimes they go they go outside and I start like kind of like hugging the guy, which is uh, something I've been working on a lot. And I, it's it's coming along. It's all coming along. Just what do y'all feel you need to do to put a game away that you haven't been doing? Uh, just finishing. Uh, we uh, the offense only scored like three, 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 six points uh, in the second half, half last game, and uh, I think that's what you know, that's what uh, caused us to do the things we did. Um, uh, yeah, just finishing, finishing. How much did they take you away in that second half? Uh, I, I feel like I've heard people say that uh, I didn't play as much as I did in the first half, and I, I thought I played just as much as I did in the first half. Just like not in the passing game, we we wanted to run the ball. So, well, when you did do the passing game, coach talked about how they they really the way they played you took you out of the what they were wanting to do offensively. No, I, I mean we still we just stopped passing the ball really to, in in the second half, and uh, um. When we did pass it, I mean, we tried to change it up because I was I was a big target in the first half. So, uh, just Tulsa's defense. What have you seen from them? Uh, based off film, we started watching film actually Sunday. Uh, they're a, a, a three three five team, three linebackers, three de- uh, defensive line, and then five de- defensive backs. And it's kind of like a quirky defense. They're they're a little bit different than what we've seen in the past. In the past, or since I've been here, honestly, I've never seen a defense like that. Uh, but we we got a good game plan going so far. So, just when, you, when you scored that touchdown a couple of weeks ago, and the whole baseball team was right there, what, what was that moment like? Uh, that's never happened before. Uh, to hear the crowd go wild, and I actually didn't even mean to do that. Honestly, I, I was I had so much momentum uh, from running the route and then catching the ball. I just kind of like stumbled into them. I honestly didn't know who the who I ran into. I just saw like a big crowd of guys, and I didn't see uh, who I ran into until like after the game, and I saw a picture of them. So it was a great thing. It was, it was awesome. For you just being back in this thing and, and doing the stuff the right way off the field, what's that whole process been like and continuing to do that process as the season goes along? Just just becoming a man. I, I feel like the, the off the field stuff, that was just uh, the immature side of me, just the, like the old me. And uh, every day I just try to do all the little things right. Coach, Coach Morris always uh, puts that on us and says that all the time. Just do the little things, just do the little things. And I just I just took it upon myself to do do all that. When, and, uh, you, when you see the success you're having on the field, does it make it easier to continue? To do absolutely, that? absolutely. What's, just, it, what's it like for you to go? I guess the first three or four weeks, obviously the first two weeks you're not getting any targets. The next two, no targets, and then you get in. I think against A and M, you get like four or five, and then Alabama's nine. Um, just go from no targets to, to as many as you have. What's it been like? I look at it as just like opportunities. Uh, Anybody like the plays I did make, uh, anybody could have done those pl- or made those plays. Uh, the, but I was given the opportunity. I just like 
I just did what I could to the best of my ability, and um, and I'm thankful for that. I, I, w I didn't have to be put in there. Uh, Coach Morris, Coach Craddock, Coach Lenny, they all made a decision to give me the opportunity, and uh, I just tried to take advantage of it. You guys have been closer and closer to getting this win. It's homecoming, just everything this week, trying, trying to break that six-game streak. Oh, yeah, home, homecoming. It's, uh, we got a lot to play for. Um, uh, of course, our, our record's not what we want it to be right now, but uh, we still there, we can still do some good things this season. So it's it's not over yet, and we're that's how we're been, that's how we're preparing for it. Yeah, I think I saw Hayden Johnson even getting a few reps in there against uh, Ole Miss. What, what has he done lately to to get himself on the field? Uh, Hayden Johnson, I, I love that guy. Uh, he he's always ready to hit somebody, no matter what it is. We uh, have a drill called wet ball or wet ball inside run, and he he just goes crazy every day, and I, I love that about him. Uh, he loves blocking, and uh, he, he's gr he's great at it. He's he's good at it. So.